What's up, everybody? This is Roberto Namorado, aka Roberto in Love. I am working on a blog post, video post, whatever, you know, the multimedia thing. Uh, long story short, it's my way of saying thanks. I want to thank everybody who came through to my minimalism get together thingamajiggy. So, anyway, I'm going to read this to you. And uh, yeah, here we go. It's called The Importance of Celebration. I want to thank everyone so very much for coming to Roberto and Love's No Shoes, 99 Cent Pizza, and Minimalism Party. I do want to say thanks to those who I did invite, but couldn't slash didn't make it, because y'all add or added flavor to my life, even if it's from a distance or transient like the seasons. In concept, I thought I would make some time to have an open dialogue about minimalism pros and cons included. I decided, ah, fuck it. Let's just chill and have a good old time in good company. I also figured folks can experience a minimalist space, which may plant a seed to keep their homes less cluttered, to create more space for peace of mind, fun, creativity, and serious focus. Kind of like test driving a car. You can tell people all about the features, but test driving it is where it's at. My mom came through earlier that day to help out with food prep. One of my brothers ended up cooking some homemade Honduran style tacos. Man, so good. Um, I gave my brother and his partner the Roberto Namorado merch they purchased online, uh, making them officially the first people to buy from my online store. Thank you so much for the support. Um, games, great bubbles of convo, hugs, camaraderie, laughter, and actually, there were some discussions on minimalism, creativity, and social concern as well. And it even got more interesting after dark. <laughs> we had a blackout that night. Well, parts of Manhattan, that is. And it was cool to see the NYC skyline with a dystopian feel knowing there was no actual danger in my direction. And my studio was nice and lit. It was really cool having an intergenerational get together. I'm about to get real legacy-ish, but I am indeed looking to understand more and more how to bring different people together joyfully, even if it's temporarily, to model towards creating more peace joy, connection, and empathy in my life and relay that energy experience and steps others can apply and or modify, well, modify, son, it's like modifying, son, <laughs> uh, modify in a manner that will work for their circle of friends and family, situations slash circumstances eventually on a macro scale to infinity. Because a macro scale sounds more realistic, but I know my act, what my actual intent is. As they say, clean your room first. I started even smaller, simply by making my bed every day, which later, the small discipline translated to other aspects of my life. I mentioned all this not because I'm some innate do-gooder, was always organized, or someone told me a few days ago, or as someone told me a few days ago, you're an angel. Long story short, I'm not innately any of the aforementioned. Kindness has been a tool that I've worked my ass off to apply to help me become a better person, keep me out of trouble, a tool of self-preservation that can help others. It's a win-win type of thing. So hey, if it worked and is working so far for me, why not spread the love and leave a trail behind while I'm here? This reminds me of an open convo with an esteemed colleague and friend that came up during a graduation of one of our classes. Out of character, I started telling the class about how it's, I kind of don't think it's too important to celebrate, that it's more important simply to improve and be content with the progress. And she jumped in the convo to state otherwise. She feels it's important to celebrate. That's the moment I was blowing hot air. When I get a job, 
my new job I celebrate, self-publish a book, have a really good week with my fitness goals, anyway the list goes on, but I celebrate the shit out of those moments. Because really, life will always come with hardships and at the same time, many of us are fortunate enough to work towards aspirations and have clean running water. Like, yeah, that's a very big deal. So celebrate and keep it relative and balanced if you can. Work, work, work on you and the things that bring you peace and sustainability. For me, that includes the pursuit of economic stability towards economic freedom, not just the hunky-dory, kumbaya, positivity stuff. And that's why it's important to celebrate along the way. The concept of mortality is something that I also see as a positive motivator. We only have but so many summers, and celebrating is a fun, uh, is fun. You can learn a lot from other people. That also depends on the circles you cultivate. The circles you cultivate maintain a tract, and it could serve as a catalyst to re-energize your serious work. Like meditation, a moment to pause. Breathing in, breathing out slowly, it can bring forth inner power through relaxation. I'm going to end it by quoting myself. Acknowledge where you are, work towards where you want to be, and encourage others along the way, and laugh along the way too. Roberto Enamorado, a.k.a. Roberto in Love. Peace.